The FBI have affirmed that ordered information was stolen and sold on to remote enemies by Debbie Wasserman Schultz's assistant, Imran Awin. Examiners presume that touchy and maybe arranged U.S. government information could have been sold to antagonistic outside governments with a specific end goal to coerce individuals from Congress. Nipost.com reports, this is an enormous, gigantic embarrassment, a senior U.S. official comfortable with a broadening test revealed to the Post. Alerts went off in April 2016 when PC security authorities in the House detailed inconsistencies in PC hardware obtaining. An inward examination uncovered the burglary of a huge number of dollars in government property, and confirmation indicated five IT staff members and the Democratic Congress individuals' workplaces that utilized them. The confirmation was swung over to the House Auditor General, who discovered so much smoke that she suggested a criminal test. Sources say. The case was swung over to Capitol Police in October. At the point when the presumed IT specialists couldn't create the missing invoiced hardware, sources say, they were expelled from taking a shot at the PC organized toward the beginning of February. Amid the test, examiners discovered important government information that is accepted to have been taken from the system and set on off-site servers, setting off more alerts. Somewhere in the range of 80 workplaces were possibly traded off. Most officials let go the affirmed instigator, long lasting IT staff member Imran Awin, in February. However, Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the previous Democratic National Committee boss, kept Awin on her finance until the point that his capture a month ago on apparently random charges of cheating the Congressional Credit Union. For over 10 years, Awin, his significant other, two relatives and a companion worked for 30 House Democrats. They included New York City Poll's Gregory Meeks, Joseph Crowley and Yvette Clark and individuals from the touchy intelligence and foreign relations boards of trustees. The Democrats who contracted the five suspects clearly made a less than impressive display with regards to verifying them. Awin's sibling Abid had a rap sheet with numerous offenses including a conviction for DWI a month prior to he was enlisted, and petitioned for Chapter 11 of every 2012. Most had moderately little IT encounter. However they pulled in a joint $4 million or more finished the previous decade. One, a previous McDonald's laborer, was all of a sudden making as much as a head of staff. These legislators enabled an insider risk to come into the House, the authority charged. PC hardware was stolen, citizens were looted of a huge number of dollars, and touchy information was traded off and conceivably sold abroad. On Thursday, a government terrific jury arraigned Imran Awin on four apparently disconnected lawful offense checks including bank extortion, scheme and putting forth false expressions. They likewise prosecuted his significant other, Hina Alvi. FBI specialists seized hard drives and other confirmation from their Virginia home. The prosecution says the couple wired near $300,000 in falsely acquired assets to Pakistan in January, as the Capitol Police examination warmed up. FBI operators a month ago caught a win, 37, at the Dulles International Airport airplane terminal as he endeavored to get onto a flight to Pakistan. Alvi, 33 fled to Pakistan in March. Since prosecutors have Awin hung up on the extortion charges, they will attempt to press him harder in the bigger cyberspionage examination, as per the U.S. official, who expects extra charges and captures for the situation. Awin's attorney, Christopher Gowan, who has worked for Hillary Clinton's crusades and additionally the Clinton Foundation, kept up that his customer was prosecuted for working while Muslim. The examination has touched Democratic pioneers including Wasserman Schultz, who has been blamed for securing Awin. She stuck by her nearby associate, notwithstanding being informed a while prior by House managers and security authorities about his suspicious exercises on the Hill, sources say. Wasserman Schultz endeavored to make light of his affirmed lead, saying he was exchanging information outside the protected system which I think added up to utilization of applications that the House didn't discover agreeable with our security prerequisites. Such exchanges however, could be a genuine, possibly illicit, infringement.
The U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington has claimed a tablet issued to Awen from Wasserman Schultz's office, as indicated by the sources, and she has supposedly held direction. Not long ago, she baited the Capitol Police boss to restore the tablet to her, notwithstanding undermining him with outcomes. The Congresswoman couldn't be gone after remark, yet she has of late told a nearby paper that examination of her Muslim associate was inspired by racial and ethnic profiling. Ewan approached Wasserman Schultz's messages at both Congress and the DNC, where he had been given the secret word to her iPad. After DNC messages and research, documents were stolen amid the presidential race. Wasserman Schultz apparently declined to turn over the server to the FBI and rather brought in a private firm to examine and ID the programmers. The firm faulted the Russian government, while conceding, we don't have hard proof. The undermined DNC server, held away, still has not been analyzed by the FBI. Wasserman Schultz denies the DNC turned down the FBI's help or that her congressional or DNC messages were traded off by Awin. This entire examination rotates off Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the authority said. Plainly vast bites of information were gotten off the protected system, said another source near the examination, including that Ewan and the other four staff members under scrutiny had full and finished access to officials' messages, timetables, plans, hearing notes, meeting notes and notices and other touchy data. Specialists are endeavoring to decide whether any characterized data was traded off. In spite of the fact that the system that was broken is an unclassified framework, it's conceivable that individuals or staff cleared to deal with ordered data accidentally sent such data in messages in the wake of getting characterized briefings, sources accept. Rationale directs that touchy information was bargained, the senior authority estimated. A denounced criminal with close connections to Pakistan had full and finished control over information that went out finished the system, 